video time. Hi. All right. Princesses again. This is the Fairy Tale Princesses, a storybook darlings um, by Hannah Lynn. I believe that you can find it on Amazon. I'm trying to get all the glare out of here. There we go. All right. Or look her up on her on our website. Okay, let's zoom in. We want to take a look at black hair. Black hair is not easy because you don't want it to become one solid black mess or you don't see lights and darks and all the different shades and shadows and all that in there. There, see if that helps a little with the lighting. There you go. You can actually see some of that. So, what I have done is I am back with the um, Arteza pencils, and I have grabbed white, and I have grabbed Elephant Gray, which is 35, and I did grab Black, which is 12, and then I grabbed Indigo, which is 7. Now, the indigo is not going to show up a whole lot, but it will be there. And then I've grabbed a black. This is from Hobby Lobby. I've grabbed a black marker. So, let's get started. I actually come in first and did some white. Just because... I want to keep the center little bulge area a little bit lighter. Okay, and this is just going to help me to accomplish that easier. I'm going to save that and say that it is some string or something that's going to match her outfit later. I don't think I'm going to do it as hair, although she's good enough with her hair. She could probably make that, right? Let's make it hair. Why not? Okay, so, and that's just about all I'm going to use of that, probably. Now I'm going into my gray, and I'm just going to go over all that. And what it does is makes my gray lighter and more manageable. So if you want to use, like, two or three different grays, you could also do that. And you can see I've gripped down pretty hard on that pencil. This paper is toothy enough that I can go ahead and put some pressure on. And then I'm going to go here. And you can see it's going to have a lot of layers. It's going to end up really dark. But again, I wanted her to have black hair. We've been doing hair and uh, last couple videos, so I thought I might need to go ahead and tackle black. You can see I'm just getting the color on all that. All the hair. Hair's not really that hard. Just look at which direction it's going and color accordingly, you know? All right, so now I'm going to move over to the black. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of trading back and forth between... Sorry, I'm making sure that's all the way on. There we go. Um, I'm going to be trading back and forth between the black and the blue, the indigo, and I'll let you know when I trade if I can remember. I'm on black now, so black is my number 12. It's the shorter of the two pencils also, okay? So with the black, I'm going to start going from the areas that are tucked behind up into that gray or down into that gray. Okay, so you see how I have a highlight there. Now this is just one 
of many layers that are going to end up in here. Now this is underneath this, as is this, so it's really going to end up darker. That's why I didn't put a whole lot of gray on this, because I knew this was going to be dark anyway. Going around the little bobbles on her headpiece. Black hair, it's fussier. You're going to have to play with it more than when we did the blonde or the red. I find blonde the easiest and then red and then going from there. So let's go ahead and finish this area. So I'm going to the indigo and now I'm pulling this blue and you're going to see when it crosses into the gray, that it is blue. That's okay. I'm all right with that. It's just going to add a little bit more depth. And you've heard of the little old ladies that dye their hair blue. Yeah, they were probably going for black and ended up with the blue. I used to have somebody in high school that her hair was so black that in the different light it looked blue but this is also why we have this marker on standby okay and then I'm going to do all of this just because the blue on top will give a darker base for that black and make it even blacker now I'm coming back with the black again And then down from the top. And then you see how that's light there? That's kind of what this is mimicking. Okay. So just have that come in a little. Have that come up a little bit more. Same thing here coming down. And having this come up. And then I'm going to go over that, knock it back just a little bit. Okay. Now, in order for this to have even a little more depth to it, that's why I brought the marker in. So I'm going to grab the marker now, and I'm going to grab the brush tip end. I'm going to stay up on the tip, but I'm going to come around and just do some little streaks in there. Some coming down. Same thing here. This piece that's wrapped, and then this is darker. Coming around. It just makes a little bit more definition in there. All right, then I'm going to go to the fine tip end. And I'm going to put her lashes back in. I already went over that eyebrow and that line there. Okay. And then back with the black. Did you notice these wispies here? I forgot to go over those. And I'm just going to go ahead and do these dark for the most part. Happen to stay out of what I just did because that could be wet or moist for just a bit 
and I don't want to drag that through with my hand. And I'm going to say this is also hair. Okay, then moving on down to these. I'm going to pull the book up just a little bit there. So I'm going to start. We already did all the gray. So next would be the black. Pulling this up from the knotted area. And on the knotted area, go from the outside in because if there were a shine on it, it would be right there in the middle, okay? Pull these down. Go over that middle section just a little. It's important if you're going for black hair, not to let it end up looking like it's gray streaked. You're really trying to get the depth and not get her going gray. Okay, so right in here is where I would leave lighter. So I'll go over it, but I won't do it as solid. And then right here is tucked down underneath this piece. So that's why I am going a little more solid there. Okay, I'm changing to the indigo. Yeah, I'm not, everything's fine. I don't know why I'm not talking much today. It's not. <laughs> okay, testing to see if this is dry. And it is. Test number two, that's dry. So now I can lay my hand in this and not worry about smearing. I went back to black. And now I'm just going to go over it again. And all these colors also allow me to get in there and get the tooth out of that paper. You can see in the purple here, there's still a few little white specks. And that's the tooth in the paper still shining through. And I don't know if you can see that blue. I can still see some of that blue, that indigo. But um, it doesn't bother me to see it. Again, it's another layer of depth to her hair. Okay, coming back in with that black marker, brush tip end. I do like these markers. I do a lot of lettering, and so this really 
allows me to um, squash on that brush tip. whenever I'm doing my lettering. It's just getting that movement in there. Yeah, when you go slow, it's harder not to shake. It's really just easier if you just go for it. But anyway, so there's her hair. So, Black hair, not real hard. You can see all the little strokes in there. And there it looks more brown, but it is black. It's just the lighting. But I'm trying to show you. There. But imagine that with brown, or with blacks, instead of the brown that it's appearing to be. But then I'm looking at a slant so it might be all right for y'all but anyway there is her hair and um what you're seeing here and here are shine marks or that the black is just that solidly done and remember you can always come in with a paper towel or a, a tissue get it wrapped okay um for instance all of the lines where did they go all right see the see the markings like right here and there's some up here at this top area right here there that you can see a lot of the little scribbling marks Okay, so you take this, and I normally wouldn't go over what I had just done last with the marker, but it should be okay. And this paper's not the thickest, so I have had to be careful not to scrub right through it with my pencils, but that's just some of the excess but when you look at it now, it's a whole lot smoother. See how that's smooth? It's got a smoothness to it. It's hard to show it to you. <laughs> there we go. How smooth that is. All right, that's all I've got for this time. I will see you back. Oh, hopefully within the week. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks.